right, so thank you very much. My, my name is Fred Cao. I'm the CEO of uh, Sayagua. I actually joined the company in end of 2022. Um, however, I've been in the agriculture arena for the last 25 years. And I spent the first 20 years actually working in the chicken breeding company and spent the next couple of years working in the feed additives and then the last two plus years working for Sayagua. The reason I want to talk about the genetic part that I spent the first 20 years is because there's a strong connection between the poultry genetics and then the shrimp genetics that we're in right now. Uh, in terms of what Sayagua Siam is about, so Sayagua Group is actually based in Singapore. We actually currently owned by a joint venture of Golden Springs Foods and Ocean's 14's Capital. And Ocean's 14 Capital is probably the biggest advocator for our sustainability around the world in the blue economy because of SDG 14. Okay, so we, we do something very different than, in my opinion, than the other part, the other companies in, around the industry. Um, our breeding program is not focused on only one trait or two or three. We are focusing on multiple traits. And let me explain to you what those traits means. You know, traditionally, the breeding program or the genetic selection program is being focusing on disease resistance or the growth rate or a specific aim for something that the industry or those things are looking for. But for Saagua, we want to make sure that the commercial farmers are going to be able to profit the most out of this whole genetic chain. On top of that, the breeding farmers or the hatcheries, they're also able to get their share of, of the profit. So what we are doing right now, is on top of the traditional two or three things, we are, we're not only selecting for the ADG, meaning the average daily gain, how fast the, the shrimps are growing. We also select the resistance towards specific diseases like EHP and EMS. And on top of that, we also doing the robustness, robustness testing, meaning that we want to make sure that the shrimp is able to be robust enough in any conditions, any climate, any feed uh, they are feeding to the shrimp, any uh, challenges that may happen between now and then, before the harvest is happening. So we'll be able to be ready for things like that, like water temperature, like salinity levels, like something that you have your heavy rains and then you have a, a lot of problems with your disease challenges. So we are more rounded type of genetic program that we are not afraid of, of investing into the right places to get the best out of our genetic potential. I think I already touched on that earlier in my last question, right? So if I've gone a little bit more deeper on that will be what the farmers will be able to see in the, in the commercial farm. Because again, that's where all the monies are being made. And that's where all the investments, the big investments, and then the biggest risks are happening. So let me touch base on what the commercial farmers can gain from our new genetic programs. Because of we are looking at not strictly on a big items that we're selecting for. As I mentioned earlier, we are looking at multiple items. Right now, if you look at FCR specifically, because of what we're selecting for, we're gonna have the best FCR in the industry as we have right now. We're gonna to continue to build the success we have in the past on FCR advantages in the, in the, in the, in the industry we have right now by promoting different type of fee rations and fee regimes to feed the best possible genetic potential for Sayagua, number one. Number two is then we gotta be able to go out there and provide you with the services to showcase our genetic potential. So in combination of both the genetic selections I touched on the last question, and then also what we are doing right now, and then the focus is that we have on FCR, the return of investment for the farmers, and also the, the support, the technical support that we're gonna be able to give to the farmers. It's gonna be able to give you a, a holistic approach, then you will be able to get the best profit for this whole uh, process from start to finish. So I would like to add that one very important aspect of our breeding program is that we are now having two GNs, genetic nucleus facilities, one in Thailand and one in USA. The importance of that is that if something goes wrong or something happens, we still have the ability to supply around the world. And that's going to give us a huge advantage because we're no longer depending on one location. We're going to be able to bring you the genetics that, that you want from both places and that genetic security is going to be protected. So for years, Saagua has never been able to directly communicate with the farmers, but now we have the ability to do that. And now we have that ability that one of the most important things we want everybody to know that we not only have 
a very good brew stocks producing the post obvious and not PIs with good qualities. But now we're gonna to showcase to you that with a pure Sagua integrity, you will be able to gain so much more on your profitability because FCR advantage, because of disease, resi disease resistance advantage that we're gonna be able to give it to you. And I'm sure that you're gonna like Sagua very much because we're gonna give you the best return of investment in the industry. So Sagua is your number one choice here in Thailand because we got the best quality of genetics and we're going to do everything right to protect your profitability and then most importantly when you're exporting your shrimps to around the world it's going to be antibiotic free the whole time.